This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. Hey kiddies, Joker here. Just wanted to let you know that I, the Clown Prince of Crime, and the Jack of All Nerd Show, love the Elijah Bailey Show. You should listen to it all the time. Isn't that right, Batsy? <laughs> Sorry, he's all tied up at the moment. Thanks for downloading the Elijah Bailey Show from iTunes or BlackStudios.com. And here's a word from some of the folks that make it possible for you to hear this show for free every Thursday. Providing bankruptcy services throughout the state of Oklahoma, Bowler & Associates is a bankruptcy law firm based in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Their mission is to relieve you from threat of debt collectors, garnishments, repossessions, tax levies, foreclosures, and much more. Backed by more than 20 years of experience in the legal field, they excel in finding the quickest, most effective, and most affordable solution to all your legal and financial troubles. You can find them at Bowler Law on Facebook and also visit the website at www.bowlerlawfirm.com. Reach them at 405-733-3000. Email them at bankruptcy at bowlerandassociates.com. And three, two, one, welcome to the 260th episode. Oh, it's Beyonce. Beyonce. Yes. I didn't know what ad this was running. It was showing like, a couple of little girls like, mm. dancing and stuff. And I was like, who is this? And then, you know, you see Beyonce. It's a, it was I a feel, DS commercial. Sorry. I feel like she can do anything and do no wrong at this point. Big facts. Uh, but thank you guys for joining us. And as you can see over to my left. See, that's how you test it right there. You reach this way. And then <laughs> and I'm not there. Bye out. Uh, the man to my left is, is the buckety. And guess what? I just now realized the headers are correct. That's on some luck shit. Because I didn't even Good check. Good I haven't checked it the whole time. I've been like, where's the sound? Where's the audio? Where is the video? Uh, but we are back. We are here. And as you can read in the title, we got some shiat. Yes, hot fire. Hot fire. You know, hot I, fire. we just watched that skit yesterday. <laughs> He's like, the five greatest rappers like Dylan, 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 Dylan. I didn't, I didn't sign up to be no sugar, sugar cookie ghetto man. That shit was still fucking hilarious. And then they threw in a clip of the real Dylan and had Dave followed right up with, with this character. Um, but we're here. Today is actually, it's the Bailey bugle bum 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 those special pint size episodes that are packed full of news uh coming hot off the presses to you and this shit is literally hot i mean they just dropped just fucking dropped and we got to talk about it. we got to talk about uh chapter 291 of black clover oh yeah uh, chapter 71 oh, yeah. now you're talking dirty uh, dragon ball super now you're talking dirty and the last two episodes of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier on yes. Disney Plus because we have to go. What is it? Seven weeks until Loki. That's the next. Damn, Marvel. is that that long? Yeah, man, it's a I'm it's lengthy. a struggle. It's a struggle. But these it's long on. long nights that I'm having, dude. The only good thing is is the peace and quiet I can find away from motherfuckers. Yes, and once you find it, dude, it's like you look up, you're like. Oh shit! Time has flown by. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like well, especially the first day, time goes fast, and then, like my my next three days are like there's not the the crew of people, the quality is about the same, but it just goes down that much further with that one extra. <laughs> oh, well, just just FYI. Oh my just god! F- huge hands, man. So cool. Just FYI, if you want, you know. The door is open if you want to come on the other ship. Oh, yeah. He was the like, other team. He was like, uh, what do you say? How do you say? He's like, oh, yeah. So what days can you work? I said, oh, my four days. <laughs> oh, my four days. No expectations yet. If I hit you with a surprise and tell you I can switch, then we'll switch. Just but, be excited then. But other than that, don't talk to you. Yeah, because you already out here talking about how these lazy motherfuckers didn't do their shit and we got to clean up their shit. 
and house bullshit. I'm like, why isn't this fat ass is still here? Why isn't he where I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm going to need you to look for something for me tonight, though. Mm. There's a there's a lawnmower that I'm waiting for Ooh. it to hit its uh, full week mark. You know what the bullpen is? No. That's that area like right behind. You know those big old garage doors in, in the receiving area? Yeah. It's like one, like you got the loading ones, and then on the opposite wall, there's like one big one. Yeah. That's, right outside of that, it's called the bullpen. There's like a riding lawnmower, a craftsman, mm. that sits by himself. If he's still there tonight, then... You know tomorrow, what to do. You're oh scoop yes, him up. yes, scooping scoop him up, up tomorrow. Bro. Okay, but anyways, right. yes, dude, we're here. I'm back, baby. Yeah, I'm back. Bi- he's back, bi- baby. Boy. Talk to me, man. I feel Talk like looking at the mic right now. I could do the Fu Man Chew chops, bro. I've been, uh, I've created character on uh, NBA 2K. Oh, and you're then, on 2K, and then also MLB 21. So, dude, okay, pause real quick. I, and I know we're hitting on some anime stuff, but like you said, this is the bugle. I am the underscore buckety. Don't forget to shout out to me, uh, even though my shit's private. So don't don't don't, don't talk to me. But uh, MLB, mm-hmm. the fucking mechanics on there. Are fucking... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not. Wait, we're not even go there yet. Okay. I actually haven't got. The, I haven't got to really play it yet. Oh, but it's for it to. I downloaded it. Yeah, and I think Caius or Caden turned it on and on my xbox and i'm looking right in the camera when i say this mm-hmm. on my xbox it pops up saying what is it sony studios playstation studios no yes it does yeah that's if crazy you, right now it's available on game pass yeah so if, if you if you start it up you know on the front on the introduction screen where they're showing you all the you know the different studios and whatnot yeah. that's contribute yeah sony studios pops up and just to think, we're in a damn age where we're seeing Sony products still bash at Sony mm-hmm. popping up on the Xbox. Isn't there, uh, maybe that was the one, because it was one of them that said, do you want to turn off uh, cross-platform play? If you didn't want to receive you know, notifications and, and requests from the other platform, you could turn that shit off. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Hang on, I'm about to turn it on to see. <laughs> yeah, you going to turn on the MLB? Yeah, yeah. You're going to be like, oh, yeah. this is a Check Sony. This is a Sony PlayStation game, but it's not exclusive. This is this is on the Xbox. This is Microsoft. This is green and white, baby. I'm looking at it right now. MLB yeah, keep, keep, the show keep, keep 21. Staring. Keep, keep staring. Keep staring. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm doing nasty things right now. Don't look I at me. I can hear it in my ear. I don't want to. And if you are just listening yes. on Podbeam, Spotify, Pandora, uh, yeah. There Bam! It yeah. You saw it. Yeah. What did it say? Was it Sony Studios? Sony or Interactive Entertainment. Yeah. Presents. You don't see that. And well, yeah, let me ask you dude. this now. And then I might you be. See the lo- the is it the Sony logo? Buttons, and then it's the the studios. The yeah. play- is it the PlayStation logo? Mm-hmm. And then San yes. Diego Studios. Like it's the whole like mantra. Like yes. And then it goes they, into the pet room. And they ain't at home right now. Yeah. That's the issue. They over here in the Western states kicking it mm-hmm. hard. That's crazy. Like yeah. I. Who would have thought? Like yeah, that is like, and it's just. When it's you subtle. see that black background, though, it draws you into like an immersive experience that you've you've been in thousands of thousands of times since the the PlayStation, since the you know the very first one, even going into like the memory card screen and shit like that. So to yeah. see that on Xbox, to get that Xbox feel yeah. at the beginning, it's different. It yeah, hits, yeah, yeah. it hits, it hits, and that, that's a kicker. Nice. I don't think most people even realize it, but mm-hmm. then once you realize, you're like, holy shit. shit. Yeah, we're crazy. Here. We're here, baby. Um, but like I said, if you are listening, Apple Podcasts, uh, you you have our um, show in your playlist on Spotify, wherever you can watch the show live at four thirty on Sundays. And I was testing it out this week to see if it, the time was going to change, but I think it'll stay four thirty because I came in, boom, sleep. You just normally crash out instantly, right? Uh, no, I've been stretching and stuff. So oh, okay. I've been I've been Which getting a good, good thirty thousand. Every day, I so bet. I've been using the foam roller, and like my IT bands now, I can just lay down on the side and, and smooth them out without you know any tension. Everything's feeling better. Um, and then if there's stuff for the shows, I try to get that done in the morning too. And then if uh, let's say it hasn't been like a busy night, like last night, it's pretty easy to get a workout in and then go to sleep. So I'm going to bed probably around nine ish. That's what's up. Afterwards, yeah. 
It gives me a chance to take the boys out on the walk or at least let them stay up a little bit longer because they're confused. They don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I was like, why is that? Yeah, What's, he's here where when are you mom's not here. here. Oh, help. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and dive into it. So the Bailey Bugle, uh, hot topics, fast picks. Uh, I want to say that there's some shit that came up and that's happened like within film, but there's three things that we really want to talk about. So all the other news, I'm sorry, we're moving to the side. Um, let's start. Which one do you want to start off with? Uh, let's 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 hit super and just okay. FYI, everybody who's listening on this episode. I know you want to tune in because I'm here, but this is this is a hardcore spoiler episode. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to spoil. <laughs> if, if, you, if you ain't about that business of 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 just getting hit with spoilers left and right, then you know either sit back and just enjoy it test it out on this episode you may realize you enjoy it you may realize you're like me and you actually love spoilers you love spoilers uh, they're not all that bad yeah. but yes let's talk about it tell me i'm looking like weiss right now tell me about it yeah, tell me yeah. about this episode if you are watching we do have it pulled manipulation up on my, on my that is going down account, right now so you can see the manga but yeah like foolery do you i don't like with the stuff that happened in the moral arc and um you know we have a former angel that turned human mortal and weiss is like been told by his dad to like watch his shit like is yeah, he really well, instigating on, right now i think he He's is over here dabbling pretty damn close i don't know getting banned I, but it, it's weird like xenos only took up goku's suggestion for a tournament and didn't erase the universe because he likes goku so are they wanting to make a mortal like an angel because we're getting like the first question we asked him is like what's the difference between a human like you and not even human between a saiyan and an angel and it's like why would you no, ask goku yeah why would you ask goku people? of all people yeah like there's a shit ton of difference for one you know goku's iq is like maybe four and Bro, you know he's raising the country he's just a fighter yeah yeah so but you know what what I'm loving right now with the where Super's headed is that we're finally getting that crucial division. Oh, we're no longer seeing the, you know, Saiyan Prince chasing after the Saiyan peasant. The pomper, yeah. Yeah. The and when I say peasant, I'm just using that as a term because, you know, Goku is hands down one of the strongest characters in all anime. But Bro. you know, he, he he it's always Vegeta chasing to become stronger or as strong as Goku. And now we got them in the same place. Ain't even training together. No, Ain't even training. No. They're training in two different styles right now. Yeah, it's like one want to play football. The other one said, fuck it, I'm playing basketball. Hell yeah. And it's nice. It's nice to see that. It's nice to see where their interests lie and how their training differs. Because, again, Vegeta's first instructor was Whis. And then after that, it's Beerus. So an yeah. angel and the god of destruction. And Goku has had this trail of instructors and influences, and they're but all godly. Beerus was his. Beerus was more his train at the beginning, mm-hmm. wasn't he? That's what yeah, I was about yeah, to say. Yeah. It flip flop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they they've got the same type of training, but differently because now they've grown to a level that far surpasses what was thought of them in the beginning. Hmm. It's, it's, um, it's just nice to see. So, that. yeah, so in the first couple of cuts, you know, Whis is asking Goku, you know, what's the difference between me and you and whatnot? And Goku's, t- and then they eventually get down to the point they're talking about Ultra Instinct and how Ultra Instinct is something that, you know, Whis, like, you know, you look at me, you know, look at all our angels and we we stay in, all, you know, Ultra Instinct. Yeah. And, you know, we sleep in this shit. And Goku's like, well, maybe that's the difference. My, my transformations. And then, bam! Mm-hmm. The epiphany. Yeah, the epiphany happened. He was like, "Yeah, you shouldn't waste your energy like that. There's a way to be more efficient." Now, I will say this is a payoff from Akira, and I don't even know if they realized or not. From it would probably well, a lot of the stuff now is done by the successor with Akira's approval. But in Dragon Ball, it was stated, I think, around the Baba arc that uh or even before then like how old master roshi was he was 300 years old at the time and then uh there was two ways of a warrior beating uh the opponent at baba's who basically took any amount of negative energy that you had in your body and turned it against you made you evil well you could be pure of heart or there's those martial artists that have trained so hard they don't think and so now we're in ultra Mm -hmm. instinct where we says like you shouldn't have to think now you should be able to stay in your natural state without 
you know, straining your stamina at longer at Ultra Instinct just by being natural. So again, payoff, maybe, maybe on purpose. I want to hope as yeah. a fan all the way yeah. to the beginning of Dragon Ball back to here now. And it, it just kind of shouts to his growth, but it's, it's nice to hear that. I was like, man, it's like, is, is this the route we're going? Because a lot of stuff that was said at the beginning of Dragon Ball made sense when Goku went to Kami's place. Mr. Popo. Not big facts. Um, nah. So then, you know, they're still kind of dabbling into, you know, the, the transformations draws out to too much energy. Then we get shot over to the whole, or the, or our new homeboy. Mm, playing the, the cereal. The, the new MVP. Granola. Granola bar. Mm. Uh, Granola he, he, I, I, want, I want to dub him Granola bar until I can see him actually like, feel fight. like fight and not be like, I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Everything right now is like a surprise to him. And I, yeah, I thought I, for a minute yeah. they turned him into a Saiyan, but he just. Yeah, it honestly feels like he is like someone's next to him who's actually an OG doing mm. all the hard work. It's like he got his controller and it's just unplugged, but he think he's running through the game. Exactly. I don't know. When he, when he fought old boy's uh, henchman on the other place, it, it felt that way. Yeah, because um, that was kind but, of our first display of what he could do. Yeah. Hey, go back up real quick. That's kind oh. of like the Uchiha uh, symbol. Uh, the the Namex, the Namekian's uh, nightlight. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but, so Granola goes back home, kind of mm-hmm. just waiting because that's what uh, his new pimp told mm-hmm. him to do. Yeah, which like, wait on wait on us. We'll we'll, we'll hey, you. Come on, dude. You're the you're the you're the you're supposed to be the strongest, strongest person being. in the universe right now. You All don't it wait takes for nobody. Is a brother with locks and a cool is that what it is? Cool goatee. Look at the chin strap on him. You can tell he means business. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Like, and it's crazy that there's a guy here for whatever reason that they're like you could beat Frieza but we're going to keep that in our back pocket like like why are you waiting so long if you could beat him like as soon as he came back and he was putting a squeeze on your business like what are you doing no yeah seriously and then like for them to try to be plotting this um uh this whole saying like to add the sayings to it I'm like well what's the point if this dude is the strongest person have him knock out Frieza and just be done with it yeah. And maybe that goes to the fact that, oh, boy, don't know that these two Saiyans are different from the normal Saiyans. Maybe, yeah, I, I take that back. The heaters. Maybe he's thinking, yeah, yeah, the heaters. Yeah, the heaters. Uh, I call them the haters. But maybe yeah. they just think that, you know, Goku is just like all the other typical Saiyans and whatnot. Well, it's so weird because they should have heard of the exploits and how they killed Frieza. So it would kind of warrant, you know, we might need to tread carefully. But it's like there's a there's a disconnect somewhere here that we're not seeing but this was cool to go back to zuno's planet which we know if you go to zuno he grants your wish by telling you you know something because he can see pretty much everything and uh we have another pervert anybody with great power in the world of dragon ball needs great kisses from a girl yeah and he's like the all-knowing person in the mm-hmm. whole universe is it most is it just universe six or universe seven i'm assuming right mm, i want to say so because i don't think yeah. it's for for the multiverse but I'm no, not they're not sure. going anywhere like that no i think you're right because we have to right. we have to go back the last time we saw him was uh Zamasu, that whole the black the goku black art really yeah because they went and Zamasu went there and learned about the saiyans and you're about right. that's when he got the body, and then Goku and them had to go there, but didn't ask the right questions, and that's that right. Shit. And that's then the next right. was the tournament, so that just shut down any, any more questions and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay, no, you're you're right. I remember that now. Um, but yeah, so uh, Heater's henchman is up there asking uh, the all knowing one a couple quick questions after let him get a little moochy mooch feel on a little mm-hmm. rubber dub between his legs. You know, that's what his little minions be doing. They kind of rub him, dub him real quick. But anyways, um, it's fucked up. I can't, I can't even really remember what the questions were. Uh, they didn't. Well, we show don't know. They many. were yeah. They were kind of just told yeah. throughout the throughout the thing about they wanted uh, Earth to know, and whatnot. Yeah, where Frieza was, the Saiyans, and just get information like that, which. I'm not going to lie, like, these are Emperor Pilaf, like, 2.0, because... Oh, hands down. They... 2.0. They, they are want, on it. 
They want their questions. They want their their galactic empire, but they also are asking pretty good questions, like small things that you wouldn't think of. Because people are yeah, like, they're, they're definitely make sure they're getting all the details. The yeah. eyes are crossed. Is this an I or an L? That's an I. We're just checking. Because they're they, just double checking. Man, to to ask what weaknesses the Sands have, that was a good one. Um, yeah. But then we go back to Weiss and Goku's tapping into not thinking, and he got the old Stevie Wonder, James Brown. Uh huh. Yeah. Got the yeah. footwork. Ray Charles. Mm-hmm. He got the eyes closed. And right now, the type of training that Weiss is doing, his staff is literally like fighting Goku, uh, spinning and just like going around, attacking him and whatnot. And Weiss is controlling him, of course. And Goku is just get over acting here, like it, acting like it's a dance partner. Yeah. Have, have oh, yeah. you watched the new Mortal Kombat? Just out of curiosity. No, we're going to today. Okay. So, yeah. I was going to yesterday, but... I haven't seen yet either. And then Falcon. Yeah. Mm, that boy put the brakes on it. Yes, he did with the finger pointer. Uh, he, he looks like Ultra right now. Is that his normal haircut? Yeah, I don't, or is I it kind of like, flipped up a little bit? I feel Here, like scroll, that's... Can we scroll back up to it? Let me, let me, I'm just going to put it on my phone real quick. Hang on. I feel like it's flipped around because he's moving. Cause see, like that's it. I don't. That feels like that's the ultra look. It could be. Let me he see. Got the Here, finger look. roll. Well, I, I guess no. That, that's his normal look. Maybe it's just his eyes closed. Yeah, strong. there it is, it's right his, here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. the hair moving around, it's man. You getting yeah, chewy, right, right, getting right, crazy, right. man. Okay, okay, okay. And Goku um, finger But yeah, so while Goku is bang. finger banging. <laughs> uh, we got, <laughs> boop, boop, I think the next season we'll like Goku or not Goku, Vegeta and uh, oh. Beerus. Yeah, Vegeta is playing uh, with uh, everyone's favorite toy. It's logs. That's yeah, one, that's one. logs. I just heard that in my head. It's log. It's log. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> it's wood. Like Vegeta's just like fucking destroying everything. And then this was cool because they gave us the Goku thumb over the shoulder. Like, hey, we yeah, just completed classic. some shit. Yeah, we about the to classic. get into some. Oh, look at him. Vegeta's training continues under a waterfall. Because I thought hey, I was where like, he's supposed to be at. Dude, I, yeah. He's cool. supposed to be at the waterfall. That's, that's, I feel like that's where, that's where true Beerus heroes are born. Yeah. Like, that's where true heroes are born. But I loved it. Fucking, uh, what was it, Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie coming over the, the cliff? Uh, <laughs> and Vegeta's like, fuck you. Uh, I remember <laughs> Plank. Plank was at home. Yeah, he was. Look at this shit, though. Like, he like Beerus showed us what like a thimble size amount of destructive power can do. Now Vegeta's just using it just like he does his blast. So again, mm-hmm. now, like it's natural. We know that that Haki and this power destroys things completely. Not just like fucking blows them up, but they're gone from existence. That's why the gods' destructions, you know, use it sparingly because they are destroying things throughout the universe to keep balance. And then yeah. we have Beerus just up here drinking some fucking whatever Bulma having some uh, smoothie, throwing in more logs. Like, who is cutting the wood for him? Like, because he is, like, lazy sometimes. Unless he's fighting, he's just a lazy cat. That's but I true. do love it. And then I think it starts getting overwhelming to Vegeta. Mm, he does his big-ass one. Yeah, that's what it was, yeah. I don't know where Beerus even fights like the tree of might. Mm-hmm. He, he took down... I want and another. Vegeta, inter- I feel like I Vegeta just uses tree. he used his own energy, didn't he? Like he didn't use the he didn't use the. the did he still use destruction energy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. why Beerus was gone because now he destroyed the planet. So it's, I mean, they can rebuild it or do something else, but it's gone. He just yeah, he destroyed the area he was sitting on and everything. Like, you motherfucker, this is my planet. What are you doing? But it's nice to see this type of training again. It's nice to see them ascending to another level because now we it's like what else can they do like okay somebody finally used the dragon balls to wish to be the strongest and it's like a catch 22 but what else can they do after this like y'all are y'all are going out there it's like different dimensions now we're about to have like some barry allen time travel shit again Mm -hmm. it's nice but this is where the The genius comes into play yeah they asked the saiyan's weakness goku will do anything for chi chi and they go here. They're like, "Hey, we're friends of Goku." And Chi Chi was like, "Y'all, I know Goku's I've been friends. Goku since day one. Yeah, y'all over I here. I ain't never seen y'all goofy looking dudes. 
But then they throw Ma'am. some money at her. Yeah, it's like oh, well, and we she, got some she is money. all about the she is, is all about the money, hundred percent. She is definitely all about the paper. They got Bulma into it to get Vegeta to come back, and Vegeta and Bulma's like, yeah, they shady. They're definitely shady, but they need your help. I'm like, <sighs> you know what? Just go back to the compound and beat their asses. You know they're not friends, but what do Goku and Vegeta do? They run back mm-hmm. home. What we need to do? We got someone you need to bang with. Well, why? They're the strongest in the universe. Bet. But <laughs> this is where Wee's kind of like, he's like, yeah, just, you know, your rivalry is okay, but, you know, you just need to challenge yourself on a daily basis because y'all might come against something that y'all can't handle. And Beerus is like, let me give Vegeta this earring. We're best friends now. We're besties. Yeah, let, me, let me give this badge. Let me give this badge of approval. Mm-hmm. When you go out there and people see this, they'll know. It's like, will they, though? Like, Earth didn't know about the God of Destruction before y'all came, so will people know? And then we. But see- certain people did know, like, like uh, Goku, Shinron. not Goku. Yeah, Shinron knew, Vegeta knew. Kami, uh, like Piccolo. Kami, yeah, I think certain people, if you're part, it's just like when uh, Zemo or Zeno popped up on the uh, the tournament, mm. the Universe 6 or 7. And a lot of people was like, who is this dude? But all the people who needed to know, you know, mm. they knew. How who called it? Who called Vegeta becoming a god of destruction? Because he looks good with the earring on. He didn't. Oh, he does. It, it fits. I mean, the whole nine yard. It fits. Go, it fits Vegeta, and honestly, I would say fits go, Vegeta better than does Goku. Mm. Uh, Goku becoming like, and I'm not saying he's becoming an angel, so don't don't start you know tripping yeah. on me. But with Goku even following the angel route, and in my opinion, I really don't. I don't feel like it fits fits him. Yeah, like how the new god of destruction would would fit Vegeta. You know, Vegeta cares about society in the world now to a degree. And, you know, he always had that destructive mannerism, if you say. Yeah. And Goku, I feel like angels are the purest form of martial arts because they don't have any qualms. They're just there to fight and everything's Mm. at complete peace. Because throughout the series, we've seen Goku's innocence to the point to where he's been butt naked in front of a woman talking about, uh, yeah, here's my balls. And she's asking about Dragon Balls and. Yeah, no, all kinds want, of. He wanted these balls. All, and all kinds of shit. And Weiss is that because when they were talking about Vegeta's baby, Weiss was like, so what? You know, we have a fight and this is, you know, you guys have to protect the universe or it doesn't exist. Like, my job is just to make sure I'm babysitting uh, Beerus. But, like, now that all this shit happened, you know, my daddy didn't call you. His daddy, Zeno, called you. So you have to. So. Fuck the baby. The baby will be here if you go and do this. Like the the way that he thinks is on par with Goku as far as I see what you're talking about. I and mean, that kind of makes sense. And they've built him up since the beginning. Every single uh like challenge he has is always about him being a martial artist, him being the best martial artist. And it stems back like the tournament it called all the way back to his training with Master Roshi, which was heavily in Dragon Ball. You saw heavily yeah. in Dragon Ball Z. So I think that's like to give up oneself is what martial arts in this world is about. And then Vegeta might have to aspire to a different calling, which at that point he might be, you know, the, just the King of destruction. Like the King, he might take on the moniker of King of Saiyans and the God destruction and, you know, raise the universe to whatever he, you know, kind of getting some comeuppance after all the shit that happened. Yeah. So, but, but here, right here, they so they even trifling. asked them like, "Where's the Dragon Ball radars at?" I mean, they went like you said earlier. They went into hella details mm-hmm. on making sure that this is going to be a flawless victory. Oh, um, yeah. So right now, they are the the heaters are going through Boma shit, finding and, the Dragon Radar to figure out how it's working and how it can work. And I think it's was it Boma? Oh no, Chi Chi ran Chi-Chi, up on them. Yeah. But it was crazy because they got so many wishes just from her kiss because he only grants females extra shit. So mm-hmm. normally you might get, you know, one uh, wish granted or you might a bit of information if your tribute is good enough. But she gave him a peck on the cheek and she got 10. So they just like made out like bandits. But yeah, Chi Chi found him and didn't question none. Still talking about money. It's like this better yeah. not be no fancy space money. Yeah. Oh, She's right, like, no, nah, it's just whatever you need. Go. You, you like, you're like, you go, right? Sky gold. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. See, Chi Chi just. This is where she should have kept training because her senses are off. Yeah. Senses are way off right now. Which, 
<sighs> it just feels like an episode of Dragon Ball right after the uh, Muscle Tower arc. Like, mm. just like some goofy shit that wouldn't happen, but because this is a comedy, we have the villains eating with the good guys. Yeah, they're over there chopping down, too. The we see Goku and Vegeta mm. pop, pop back up, and they're like, well, they're going to get here. Like, are they right there? Heard you guys show us the bad guys, and that's the issue. No one said that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess Chi Chi may have said that. Or I thought they just said this is the strongest person in the universe. Yeah, they, yeah, I think, uh, did they? No, I just think they had uh, the pre-notation that is just oh, no, supposed yeah. to be a bad guy. Whereas, yeah, he's claiming to be the strongest in the universe. So that's how they lure them in because yeah. Vegeta's Vegeta seems like he's level head. He was like, ah, we're just gonna go see this. Plus, I've got you know destruction power, and I can go you know Super Saiyan Blue, you know Ultra. So I should be fine. So I don't. And they just fought Moro. I don't think he's got like a real issue with going. But again, somebody that's saying they're the strongest, and they just got a warning from Whis to kind of you know let them know that we should take this a little bit more seriously. And then Goku's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go with Vegeta. Yeah. Of course, you know, you knew Vegeta was going to go. He's got done training. There ain't no way he's not about to jump on the bandwagon and try to figure out, you know, what's going down tonight. What, what do you think of the spaceship they got? Dope. They got money, money. I mean, they had the pool, the bar, the the full-fledged staff, the food that we'll see here in a bit, Goku eating. Hmm. I believe, did they show uh, Vegeta training too? Mm, Vegeta was in the water training. That's right. That, but that's it, right. That's what he was doing. He was water training. It was after he asked this question, like, "How could y'all afford this like luxury ship?" And they're like, "Uh, uh, we 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 got it for our saviors." Like, and I'm really hoping Vegeta's, you know, wise. his his wise starts kicking in. Cause we already know we're not gonna get that from Goku until he actually Goku's probably gonna stumble fist. upon him. Like, oh, oh, you look like he's you're killing he, he, somebody. He's gonna, but... he's gonna bump fist with with Granola and then realize like mm. he's gonna after the first fight they're gonna have. That's when he's really gonna realize. Be sitting huh, down eating next to maybe him like I was deceived. Yeah, yeah, but Vegeta, I think Vegeta might start picking up on certain key things, but. Well, I'm assuming it's going to happen because in the next scene, we'll see back on planet Cereal Bar um, <laughs> that, you know, he gets word that, yeah. hey, Saiyan's Coming. on the way. We snitched on you on accident. My bad, bro. I'm surprised that no one's realized they couldn't play. That's probably throws me off. Yeah, it's like they just got too much information. And, like, you told them that you were the strongest and you kind of went in, but there was really no reason for them to to bow down to you because they still told you take your ass home and we'll get you the information when we get it to you so i'm like they were scared and so it's just weird he's so eager to go after the saiyans and frieza and then vegeta and goku just want to fight so that's you know that's what yeah, that maybe is. just too easy i guess yeah. um but yeah so you know now granola is getting super hyped because apparently the saiyans were the ones who wiped out uh everybody everybody so he's like, what? How great is this God? He has blessed me with this opportunity to not only kill Frieza, but also the Saiyan. Yeah. And it's nice oh, that they're Saiyan. calling him like you're Saiyan goons and shit like this. So we, you know we're about to get some more Saiyan slander and shit. Calling oh, yeah. him some bullshit. And then they're going to be like, what? And then Vegeta's like, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, my dad sent me to that planet when I was a kid. We he, fucked it up. Yeah, <laughs> y'all was real easy to kill, but that was when I was a kid. And he's like, I don't Are we going to be shit. some shit? Let me ask you this. Would it be some shit if it was Bardock? Mm, that'd be kind of cool. Be like, yeah, and they then, sent four Saiyans and they blew up everything. And they, and like, then, then he, the fact he looks, looks just like, like Goku. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's the yeah. heat that April gave us. Because that, uh, that could work with like. El- the deal that works with this is all the aliens age differently. So yeah. it definitely it could, could work. work. And then they'll, they'll make, you know, even though we all know Barda, you know, but they'll bring them into the universe. Yeah. They brought everything else into this universe. Yeah. So you know. why not? I mean, again, this feels very, very heavy, like Dragon Ball. Uh, we're getting answers to things that were uh, brought up long, long, long time ago. Uh, throughout Z, even in GT, we're getting some 
retold stories or reformulated like, yeah, this is about outer space, but except for we're not going planet to planet, we're doing this to this. And then you're going to see universe to universe, just a glimpse. So there's always this bigger world, but where are we taking the story next? And they just like veer left from what they just showed us because the tournament arc, completely different than Moro, didn't have nothing to do with it. And mm-hmm. now this arc goes all the way back to when we first met Raditz in yeah. Dragon Ball Z. So amazing. Um, I want to keep going. Let's get, let's let's dive into this one before we take our next break. Let's go to um, Black Clover. Black Ooh. Clover, chapter 291. Uh, now, if you're looking at the screen, Clover. you're seeing a demon. Not the first one, but the second Is one. Is it 291 already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a right duel there with the distant yeah. inferior. Yeah. So, so mm. if you're not caught up, the shits is bad. You know, we have two demons that was given the vice captain of the Black Bulls. Top the tier. The hard eggs. Top oh, tier yeah. demons. We're talking about like second in command type shit. Mm, a little um, man. What was the other one? Yeah, Lilith. It wasn't uh, Luciferio because uh, he's with the one that uh, brings his body back. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember, but Shit. for people who know the myth, 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 mythology and, and all that other stuff, you know, Lilith is a, supposed to be like the, the queen of the devils. Um, so we have her and another demon just wreaking wreck. Asa shows up in his union mode, which means he is now fully uh, utilized the devil within him, but it only lasts for five minutes. Mm-hmm. And he's already been doing a lot of shit before he even got here. But, um, this yeah. is the end of the battle. So he finally just completely the two uh, that nobody could because they could they merged together too. I forgot about that. Yeah, they actually yeah. merged together and became one demon because they realized that this nigga also got some boots on him. Like this is the deal. Like when you think that there's despair, you, you got to prepare for like seven more levels with Black Clover because like oh no, they're not. That's not even the worst. Like. It, now these aren't even like the level 10 demons either the level one demons and oh yeah, yeah there's two of them oh yeah they have unlimited power oh yeah your special move don't work oh yeah uh they can merge oh yeah they can do this oh they can regenerate and come back like when will it it's like playing dark souls it's just basically that's what they're doing every episode of black clover and they're coming out on top i love yeah. it. yeah 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 they are definitely coming out on top so Right here, we see the vice captain and, and Asta kind of in the appraisal mode of just like, man, you did it, you damn idiot. Like, we, we finally hit that moment. And Asta and his little demon, as you see on the shoulder, you know, are completely broken off from the union. And, you know, they had a nice little sentiment moment. Mm-hmm. You know, I think Asta compares him to Cap- Captain Yami. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's like, motherfucker, don't you talk to me about that, about that dude. <laughs> I don't like him. But then I think even he had a moment in his head. He was like, man. This is what I used to be like. This is what I used to be. Because it's crazy that he sacrificed his self to be like his brother. He gave up his identity to be like his role model, who was a part of Yami's team in the beginning. But yeah. he was Yami's best friend. Like it's so it's, On every level, this this pulls you in. But oh, then of course. Because it's, it's beautiful writing. Oh, dude. <laughs> and then we get the Kaioken body uh reverb you know asta can't move his body for 30 minutes he can't use his his deal his uh, muscles yeah. are super sore and but there's still two more uh tier one demons and we see what's going on right now we have yeah uh, it's hot uh, up there <laughs> dante who yami and asta took out in the beginning is is uh Ooh, versus technically, Saitha. yeah technically they i mean they took him out but then they didn't take him out if he wouldn't have been saved, they would have. He'd have been done. Like, yeah, that is true. That yeah. is true. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, his old right. his brother came yeah, and saved. Yeah, him. yeah. Oh, homeboy came in. Uh, and, that's right. The bone dude. Mm-hmm. And who he is fighting, Lanxus, who is Fenrir's brother, and uh, you know who is fucking murked out in wind power right now, spirit. Wind. Oh yeah, he's 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 geeked yeah. up on that juice. Uh, who else? Oh, and then we have uh, uh, Charlotte and the painter versus the old crazy bitch with the eye that'd be oh yeah that's right that's going right. crazy yeah. she's got the blood, the blood. She's, she got the blood yeah mm-hmm. and then yami and uh vengeance vengeance are with the scientist who we find out who's got a demon and his powers are yeah 
weren't Which he supposed kinda, to be he anything. He kind of mentioned that earlier because yeah. he was like, you know, they just want me to do this and they're blessing me with the power of the demons. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh shit. So not only are they bad, but you got to get him because he's speeding everything up. Oh, mm-hmm. and then outside we got old fire, fire, fire pants. Fire force. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the the, the fire uh, captain, vice captain, fire sister, mm, and she's uh, fighting the demon, the actual they, demon, demon. Yeah, that they brought old back. school, and her brother and beginning credits demon. Yeah, uh, her like those are the demon henchmen, like those big ass ones that the demon king or the the wizard king killed. That's what she's fighting single handedly, and her brother and somebody else is fighting the demons along. I mean, pretty much. The ultimate, are we calling them the ultimate magic knights came because yeah. it was like the heart kingdom and the uh, the um, clover kingdom. The spirits aren't there yet, though, yet, are they? No, Noel and them no, are the spirits, or charming. Okay. Yeah, they're not there yet. That's but they're, right. they're on the way. If they're not like, they're like right behind them. Because that was the next thing, like Noel and them woke up and it was like the elves. And they're like, oh, we're about to teach you how to really use magic. And we're yeah. about to show you how to do this. So they're going to come in. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that. We still, yeah, I forgot mm. about that. We still got them just on standby right now. We got Noel and some elves. That you know, that right there tells you like some shit's about to go down. Like, oh, yeah. It's about to pop. Again, crucial Goku moments. The Z fighters are coming in so Goku can get that spirit bomb done. And when Asta does it, uh, it's just... That's the end. I wonder. I wonder who is going to be sacrificed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder how how bad, how dark is it about to get? Um, because, like I said, there's just too know. many extra extra things that has we, not happened yet that you know that's going to happen. We've been like seeing I a said, lot of stuff with like how like Asta's mom. Certain people can take magic away and put it into other things. We've been seeing these magical items that give people magic. What if like killing the demons takes away all magic and then everybody's equal mm, that ooh. might it might be a, a flippity flop at the end ooh. of it it's not like asta and you know can be kings but they won't be wizard kings they'll just be king and asta be like ah i wanted to be wizard king but i never had magic in the first place and i can bring people together like this is in the far future and it's like bam i mm. you know because naruto again a mother, he's he's the one that started saying what the fuck you gonna do at the beginning of a series and then completing that bitch out. So that is true. That is hard. I want to say he said that. Like Goku, you know, he likes fighting and he does prove that he's the strongest, but he still has levels to it. He's never gonna be maxed out until the end of the series. Uh, Naruto's had an end to his series. So uh, let's. What else happened? Oh yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we 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 get, we get a high sight because Captain Knight was like, our vice captain was like, hey. I know we're celebrating, but uh, it's real. Like, there's some shit still going on. So then I think after that, we go to uh, Dante. Dante. Yeah. Yeah, Dante's Showing fighting his... old Captain Captain Cudaho. Mm-hmm. And it ain't looking too good. And Captain Cudaho, done, he done upgraded crucially. Like, yeah. he's in his zone right now. And to know that his magic changes properties to match his opponent. And, mm-hmm. like, he had the, the deal's blades going all over his body. And he could shoot. Man, he was, he was doing good. And I was like... He might pull this one out, and then until Dante said, "Y'all need to put respect on, on my name," mm-hmm. he said, "I'll ask you to be one name. of my wives." Like, yeah, ah. hey, hey, do not say my name without the respect on my name because he's he's yeah he's on a different level. Mm, he's just a masochist, just crazy. But I do love the fact that nobody again, nobody's gonna give up. We're talking about mages here. We're talking about knights, but. You see, you know, Dante's going in for the kill, and bam. The two explodes. people that I did not expect. I didn't mm. see them coming. I did not either. I, I, I knew we saw them last time. Magna was in the front of a big group, but I didn't think they were coming to save him. I didn't I, think that was going to pop up to Dante no. out of everybody, and it's just them two. Yeah, so you know they upgraded because we have a fire user, and then we have a trap user, a trap caster. Yeah. And so, really, this is about Magna couldn't even get to the level of the, the Royal Knights to join Luck and the rest of them. So what is he going to do now? And we know he's been training his ass off. He's been having a struggle. And Dante's one to tell you, like, 
you're nobody. Like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not even going to use my magic on you. Like, yeah, he was disappointed. He was like, I can tell right now, y'all just a bunch of bitches. Talk about people. And not even the bitches that I want around me. I don't even want you sucking my dick. Yeah. Y'all ain't even going to make me feel nothing. Look, just look at the face. I mean, I've never seen Dante look look so disappointed. Unenthused. Yeah, cause that dude's always like he's like the, the the crackhead of the group. If anything, oh yeah, he love and you hit him with some magic, and then he just flat out tells him, "If you're not in our kind uh, state, or you're not anti magic, I don't want you." Yeah. So Magnus, like he he does, he's been using this vibrato since the very beginning about what it's like to be a real man, and uh, Dante laughs him off, and then kind of puts him in his place by just flexing just a bit, and that. You know that kind of scares Magna. He knows he knows his limits. That's what oh I'm yeah thinking. yeah he, he he's he's not he's he's not you know an idiot at all. Yeah, he's been telling us that since the very beginning. But the other the other thing and the other part of that is he's continued to do what Yami's told him and surpassed his limits. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he. What's up, girl? One eight seven. Thanks for joining us. Continue. He. I think he feels the worst about Yami. Being I think that's really what boils down to, yeah, because they was there. Like they, 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 that same presence is what he was feeling, you know. And Yami got swooped up, so they had that quick little flashback in their head, mm-hmm. you know, where when that captain got got. Yeah, but I, th- I feel like this is Vegeta at the end of Dragon Ball Z when he's like, Kakarot, you are the best. So you know, he admitted that, so he could move forward. And Magda admitted how weak he was again after his best friend left him. His uh, his junior left him, Asta. The rest of the Black Bulls left him. He's like, I'm I'm gonna fucking get stronger. And his poker face, was he was Krillin. He faced his fears. He threw the Destructo disc, hit Dante. When Dante's just like, and so what? what? Like <laughs> this is the most this is the most Escanor line that we've got so far. He's Big like, face. and eyes so completely what? whited out, just completely not caring right now. And then we see this shit looking like some shit coming yeah. out of Card Captor and Yu Gi Oh! The Yu-Gi-Oh. chain, mm-hmm. the chain, bam, right to Magna's soul and chest. You're like, oh, wait a second. Like, you know what? What's, what's about to go down here? Is this uh, uh, Kura, Kura Prika? Is this is Hunter Hunter? Are we getting. Oh, is, yeah. he, is he sacrificing his soul? Is this what's going to happen? And if he no, does. You start, you start seeing Dante look a little bit more normal. Dante got a little he, hair whip right here, too. Yeah, you see all the hair, the makeup is gone. I'm no longer 100%. And then he's just running in. And then you see the brass knuckles. Give mm-hmm. me the brass knuckles. Keeping and, it hood. And uh, this delinquent uses his masculinity. Bam! Secret flame magic. Soul chain death match. And I said, did I not say this gives you the knife edge death match? Yu Yu Hakusho yeah. feels because Big it, it's a slugfest now. The shit that wasn't hurting you before, the same shit that uh, made you laugh is now going to make you cry, Dante. And this mm-hmm. levels a playing field for Magna. He can go up against anybody now to transform his magic. He he got it as high as he could. Now it's like, I'm going to siphon off you. We're going to go 50-50 and see who's the best. This is what makes Black Clover amazing. May 9th is the next chapter. I'm I'm ready for it. Oh, that's coming out early. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. that's next Sunday. I'm tripping. I'm over here thinking on Dragon Ball Z time. Mm, um, yeah, Dragon that's Ball actually Z. they were actually taking a week off, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, because next yeah. week is May second, mm. so we we'll have to wait a whole another week. I mean, it happens. It mm. happens. Don't love it, but I've got a lot of shows, a lot of anime and stuff that I'm watching right now. So that that'll hold me over. Uh, but let's do this. Let's take a quick pause for the cause. And then we'll come back and uh, I'll fill you in on what happened on Falcon and the Winter Soldier for the uh, very last two episodes. Ooh. With that, we'll be right back. Wait, did they drop two episodes Friday? No, I didn't cover episodes five for the podcast. Oh, I see, I so, see, I see, I yeah. see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Captain we'll be, Cokehead. <laughs> we'll be right Captain back. Captain Crackhead. Sure man, call him. Captain man. Crack. Man, man, man. We'll be right back with episode 260 of the Elijah Bailey Show right after this. Need a magic sword? Stylish new threads? Access to a video game before it comes out? Or to fall in love? 
It can all be yours. Give us a ring at Gotta Goddess where we can provide you with your very own goddess, fully equipped with one no strings attached wish. Call today and use magic word gag to get a discount on your first wish to be fulfilled. Side effects may, but are not excluded to death, dismemberment, disorientation, irritable bowel syndrome, headaches, nose aches, toothaches, and addiction to anime, falling in love with the wrong person, and more. If you're a ninja, being seen can be a problem, especially if you're seen wearing subpar footwear. Make sure to visit Shinobi Sandals to make sure if you're seen, you're seen in style. I don't know. Regardless of what you saw. You saw me we're back. This don't listen to what Buck's saying, but we're back. Yeah. And look at this bam right there. Let's talk about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Don't 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 do the yeah. the gravel in your voice. Dude. No, 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 no. All right, so God. where are you at in Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Oh god. Um sorry. Uh um, did you watch episode five? Yes, episode five, okay. I believe, is the... Let me spoil it just a little bit, just make sure okay. I'm on the right yeah. page. Yeah. Uh, they relinquish the shield from yeah. Captain Crackhead. Yes, um, yes, he goes, he gets the... Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, court-martialed. No, yeah. Yeah, he did. Dishonorably discharged, yeah. all that shit. And which, you know, call me that guy. <laughs> kind of feel bad for him, though, man. Yeah, I kind of felt like, man, that he don't get no retirement. No, he don't get nothing. He cause... didn't sign up to be captain. Y'all pushed him into captain. Hey, that's what the military does, though. We know this. Man. We have family and friends that are in. This there. is how evil villains are ha- get created. This 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 it dude was... is on juice juice. He is. You wouldn't take it. He's like, of course I'd take it. He but killed also... someone. He brutalized Woo. someone with his shield. You don't just tell that same motherfucker you ain't got no retirement. Yeah, because he was like, I am Captain America. And it's like, oh, no, you're deep, you're digging deep into your forefathers right now. Like, yeah, bro. Uh, like, you are, but you, are, you are gone. I feel like this was a show that we needed coming off WandaVision. WandaVision dealt with, uh, you know, mis- mental illness and uh, grief and how to deal with that. And this is dealing with real life shit. Like yeah. when drugs, uh, when <laughs> my, when I'm a black man that served my country and gave it uh, all yeah. for the country and I can't get a bank loan or when people nah, just, you go to jail. Yeah. And people yeah, just up to the, oh, the other. Oh, show. Isaiah, man, if yeah. they don't fucking make a movie or a series about Isaiah Bradley for Marvel and then Blue cuz Blue Marvel the the motherfucking the whole deal stems from reality of fear that if minorities have power they'll fucking turn into superheroes and I feel like that was a, a part of the case that he was not I'm talking about George Floyd there were no superheroes on the block that day it's like black people are always seen as they're they're used for their strength they're used as tools and so like the tuskegee experiments oh they they can handle them, they can take it and then whatever happens you know they're it not happens yeah they're not anything anyway so to deal with the the constraints of race it takes place in every facet of your life if you don't believe in racism and you don't see it you're just a fucking asshole that doesn't want to look at it and you're part mm. of the fucking problem like mm. it's every fucking where like you can't go through the military, you can't even go to your own fucking job and be treated the same because you're seen as a threat when all you're trying to do is walk on eggshells to get by. So to see that in Isaiah Bradley, to see how it shapes his grandson, Elijah, um, which after episode five, we see that Sam got the shield back. Him and Bucky were bonding, and Bucky apologized, like, man, me and Steve, apparently there was a conversation off screen where they were talking about passing the shield and Bucky didn't want the shield because he didn't feel worthy but they both said that Sam was worthy but saying we didn't have any idea of how this would feel for a black person or you know how you would feel about trying to take the shield how how you respond about it and to hear Isaiah's story like I mean as soon as you hear it 
everybody was like fuming like this is fucked up Mm -hmm. and sam was like you didn't tell me this and then to have the cops roll up on him and then think that he was the issue that's the issue in america right there police automatically pull up think the black is there is there a problem here sir and then when you're a celebrity is this is this this nigger calling you call call you some issues sir he's like no he's like leave us alone but they don't listen to that and then they were like oh yeah you just you just don't we're not here for you don't worry no you're you're good did you see the the other side of it oh well sorry about this mr barnes we're gonna have to take you in because you the whole conversation you are a uh a terrorist (laughs) yeah like it is the whole (laughs) dynamic of everything they did from episode four that like and i was talking with leon and a couple of people like let's look at the subtleties like john walker thinks because he represents america like the shit that he says he just told other people they didn't have jurisdiction but because he's captain america he has jurisdiction everywhere like bitch your jurisdiction is america how are you overseas trying to dictate diction and then just the the subtleties that when you walk by somebody you never see black people put their hands on people because we know we prioritize our space because we Mm -hmm. don't get a lot of shit at all in life and so white people have this deal where they pat you on the shoulder try to comfort you you don't need comfort and the door melage to be like you don't have the right to put your fucking hand on me and wherever i fucking go i have authority is just like that's the dynamic you know you're gonna talk about authority talk about race and lineage through kingdoms like Africa had kings and queens way before England and shit did. Mm-hmm. So the only reason that you guys had is because you saw it, and now there's this caste system to where you have the common courts and common law, and then you have royal courts. Like, that, what the fuck sense does that make? One, why would I listen to a king and queen that has less lineage than somebody else? And the only reason you're keeping that is because it's you know ancestral and and traditional to keep one group and family in that position which doesn't fucking matter in the first place yeah like, no nah, big facts it shows the dynamic in this show every episode and five hit on that with him getting the shield and training at the end training crucially to going inco- through i was waiting to see Bro. your locks pop up at the, in the in the background because uh, i thought you was training him i was telling uh, deandre i was like man i wish i, well, I see why a lot of them ain't training nobody no more you know, yeah. man, Marvel Studios. they got me and they got me um you know out of the shots we had to reshoot this is a it's a whole day but i, I figured I like people like, well, he was just throwing it with Bucky. Why do you have to train? Because he had to incorporate himself into it. And again, Sam, again, y'all motherfuckers are relying on a black man. No power. All I got is a jetpack. When I got my power, guess who I got it from? All the shit I'm holding right now. Jetpack gone. All the shit I'm holding right now is from fucking Wakanda. Wings gone. From Africa. Wings gone. From Africa right now. Boy, he's got all of his stuff. He goes out, and it's this whole total transformation. <laughs> What's up, Rodney? Um, and so now, episode six this is where I'm gonna spoil you a little bit. Sam, it, it's it's action packed episode. It's tying up loose in what happens to Carly, what happens with Bucky, Sam, what happens with uh, you know the the U.S. agent because we got Val. Is it a bad up. episode? No, that's great. It's okay. great. You, okay. get, you get to pay off to everything. Like the action is there, the way that they handle the issues. Um, you even get nods to Zemo that are still Zemo. We find out who the power broker is. I'm gonna leave that for y'all to watch. But Sam pops up in the new Captain America deal, and he's Captain mm-hmm. America, and this motherfucker is doing the shit that we haven't really seen. We've seen Sam save people, and it's like that's because he's a hero. But now yeah. to see him as Captain America, you're like whole uh, different perspective. John, John oh, Walker man. didn't do this. You saved them. You stopped chasing somebody and saved them, and then caught in pursuit. Oh, you saved this motherfucker too. Like he's just he's saving people left and right, like Oprah. He's just giving mm. out save. You get a save. You get a save. And then he swoops in. He's using the shield while flying and shit. Fights back to off the leaper again, and like lands and has a discussion with the senator and the people are recording. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't understand. He's like, I'm a black man as Captain America. I can see your eyes judging me now. And it's like this real heartfelt deal. But Isaiah Bradley is watching at home and it's all the things, all the conflict, all the issue that you'd want to say uh, about the things that he's taken on, all the discrimination, the history of the shield, the untold stories, what 
his version of America is and why he has hope in America. I can't have lived this life and been a soldier and done all this for nothing just to come home and still be nobody this many years later just because of the color of my skin. It, it doesn't make any sense. And yeah. there's just so much there between him and his sister, him and Bucky's relationship. Uh, you guys got to go ahead and watch it on Disney Plus. But yeah, it was it was a f- six episode series amazing and adds to the universe and we got confirmation that there's a captain america 4 coming yeah we yeah i i saw that pop up uh was it last night Mm, probably yeah probably saturday yeah somewhere around that somewhere this this week has been very eventful yeah yeah um hey another thing i want to recommend you watch Mm -hmm. is mortal kombat drop an animated series last week or last year sometime it's called mortal kombat the revenge of scorpion I think I started, yeah. but I didn't finish it on because it's on HBO Max right now. Yeah, yeah, man, that was that was good. That was real good. I just had to throw that in there. Um, right, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, because yeah. I just had I just uh, Harley Quinn started that series over again on HBO Max, and then you know we got the Godzilla and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So no, there's a lot of shit going down. There's a lot of there shit. Is, there there's is. a lot of shit. There is. But, a lot that, of but that is some that is some good shit that I definitely. It was slept on just because I don't know, just because of the pandemic or what, but I didn't hear nothing about it. And then when I yeah. watched it, I was like, holy shit, this is good. It's because like, they keep adding stuff and it's in the queue. And I just like don't go back because watch a lot of anime for the show. And then yeah. Saint Seiya and Sailor Moon, all that good shit. And then Undertaker's Last Ride. You know, you just got so many things. No, I, I feel you. I feel <laughs> invested in. Uh, but. I feel you. Let's ride into the last segment of the show, um, Anime and Manga of the Month. Bam, there it is, since uh, YouTube has got a stick up their ass. Let's just do it this way. Uh, Chio's School Road is awesome. about this lovely girl named Chio who plays uh, Western video games at night, and then she has to wake up early and go to school every day that she walks down the school road. Weird and goofy things happen, and we get to see her response to them. A lot of the responses... Are very weird teenager shit, and then a lot of the responses are just weird Japanese shit. Uh, but it's funny, it's comedy, and her friends join in. Uh, it's a good watch. Twelve episodes mm. in English or Japanese on Hulu. Uh, I think everywhere: Funimation, Crunchyroll, Amazon Prime. So you can watch wherever you want. And manga of the month is Bam. I just read the latest chapter, Undead Unluck, and now Negators. Undead and Unluck are having trouble against an actual master. He's like, oh, shit, he's not using a power. He's just pure strength. <laughs> this motherfucker's just like skill. And it's nice to see um, a martial artist who's 170 years old who just basically he's like Yujiro. He goes around. Oh, he, okay. he kills people's family if he sees potential. And he raises martial artists to fight him and see if they can kill him later. He He wants to be the strongest in creation. So... That's the latest episode, but Undead Unluck, a group of negators, are trying to solve all the apocalyptic problems that God's book's apocalypse sends down. Otherwise, you know, God ends everything. Whether they complete the missions or not, it's up to them and their abilities, Uh, and each ability is unique. Now, our two main characters, which you see right there, Undead cannot die. He can regenerate. He can have his head trapped in an orb. Like a Bond type situation. Exactly. And his undead abilities, uh, I think we're 60, 60 something chapters in, they keep growing. So now, like, he could probably grow, like, if he cut his fingers off, many versions of himself, and then shoot those off, and it'd be like five different bodies and shit like that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. So, and unluck, if you touch her, you get a certain degree of bad luck, depending on how long you touch her, where, and the severity of if she knows you or not. So that's just interesting. Go around causing havoc and shit. It's nice. I can fuck with that. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, right now, it's a current manga. I think 60 something issue, 61, I want to say, but it's in the 60s, and they're all fun. Nice, light reads, a lot of blood since it's undead unluck but he has like yeah. a wolverine super saiyan 3 mode so check that out hmm. uh, but that is it for the bailey bugle we spent so much time on dragon ball super and uh black no, Clover, but they're so deserves. good yeah. yeah and falcon and the winter soldier uh there is a po- another post credit scene um yeah watch, yeah, watch. Check that so out. many characters so many things so it's uh, is there two? There might be two post credit scenes. Just watch. It's it's real good. Um, and then we also got some news that Doctor Strange 2 is going to be a little bit 
more out there and kind of horror-ish. And, but with Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen talking about it, we might be getting Loki and uh, Scarlet Witch in this with Doctor Strange. But we'll see at a later date. Uh, let them know where they can find you at Boca T. Blacken Studios mm. on all platforms. It's Blacken, B-L-A-C-K-E-N it's Studios. It's not um, how you spell it. Facebook, but... Twitter, and Instagram. And you can email us at podcast at blackenstudios.com. Mm, the, the breath there that's oh yeah the closer okay captivating ah that's what we're calling it As you can Christ. find uh, anything and everything you need about the elijah bailey show on our official facebook page elijah bailey right. show or snapchat twitter and instagram at elijah bailey show just chop off the w on the end that's s h o send your emails to elijah bailey show at gmail.com or simply subscribe rate a review on apple Podcasts, podbeam spotify pandora uh, I think I said Apple time. everywhere. Uh, Stitcher is up to date, I think. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let them know where they can go for yes. Patreon goodness. Yes. Oh, Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash Elijah Bailey. So you got to check in and make sure he's listening. Yes. yes. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah uh, I got it. But, Hello. but <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, Mr. Buckety. No, thank you for the invitation, kind sir. And I'm Elijah 5000. This has been the Elijah Bailey Show, The Bailey Bugle. We're out. What's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buckety appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast.